this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech number 326, looking at the top 10 reprints from the Commander 2016 decks that are about to come out. There's some great stuff that they put into these decks. I'm working on the top 10 new cards video right now, so if you've got any comments on what you think the best new cards are, leave them in the comments. They might make it into the video. The reprints here are are wonderful. There's some great cards, but we need to talk about the philosophy of Wizards reprints here. It's a little bit different than we've seen in other products. There are very few super high-end cards, but there are some medium or lower range cards that have been reprinted very, very recently. Like Ghostly Prison, I was very surprised to see added as a reprint, considering that it was just recently reprinted in the Conspiracy 2 product. Bloodbraid Elf has been reprinted recently and is reprinted again here. They've also got some cards that I think are wonderful and broken in here, like Oath of Druids. I'll talk about it a little bit more later. They have your standard commander staples that everybody really likes, like Homeward Path. Super happy to see that in here. And it has this continual philosophy that it's going to be very difficult for people to financially speculate on commander cards, especially those staples from the main decks, because Wizards is saying, we're just going to reprint those. We're going to get people in who are casual to play these awesome cards. A few honorable mentions here. Lurking Predators is awesome. Amazing card. If you can get this out, it shuts down the whole table or you get a bunch of free creatures. Beast Within, very, very, very good green removal that sees competitive play. Propaganda, great card for stopping people from attacking you. And Swords to Plowshares is one of the best removal spells ever printed. In Commander, it's a little lackluster. It is super powerful, though, in Legacy and other formats. And even in Commander, if you're playing a more competitive Competitive commander game, it's still really good. Number 10 spot here, Past in Flames. I'm adding a bunch of deck lists on here to make it a little more fun. Past in Flames is really Yagmas Will, the ability to cast a bunch of cards from your graveyard. It's a little more limited in that it's instants and sorceries, but it is a staple in Storm decks. And if you want to play either a combo deck or an Is It Crazy chaos -y deck, this is the type of card that you really want in your deck. The number nine spot here, I've got Burgeoning, and this is one of those that just saw a reprint, really shocked me to see it again, but it's really, really good in Commander. It makes sense in Commander. I wouldn't be surprised to even see this reprinted again and again. This is a great card in Commander. Reliquary Tower. Oh, this is one of my old favorites. It's Library of Lang, which is a really classic card to put onto a land. Everybody likes not having to discard and having giant numbers of cards in their hand. Forbidden Orchard. This is a really good card. It goes really well with Oath of Druids, which is also in this set, and it allows you to play a political game, give people some 1-1 one -one colorless spirits, or do crazy broken things. Master of Ethereum. This is a crazy good card in an artifact deck, makes a lot of sense in the commander decks, and it helps to bring down the price of affinity a little bit. Number five spot here, we've got Godo Bandit Warlord. This guy spiked recently because he was seeing some play in Legacy of all things, in a sneak attack type deck. Really, really cool card. I've enjoyed this card a lot in commander. It is a fun card. I'm glad to see him back and very, very reasonably priced right now. The number four spot here, I've got Revlark. This is one that's super powerful, super broken, and I see people do crazy combo things with Revlark, Karmic Guide, Body Double, Mirror Entity, Acidic Slime, get rid of all of your stuff. It's just super, super powerful because it's a when goes to graveyard ability, the Mirror Entity lets you kill off all your stuff. It's just crazy. Thopter Foundry is another card that I'm super happy to see back. This is a card that I've been brewing with and that I really like for Control in Modern. Control is not very popular, but it's very good. It is a powerful, powerful anti-aggro card. Gaining life there matters a lot. This is a card that I would definitely consider picking up because it's going to be super cheap currently if you want to brew with it in Modern. Boros Charm. This is the modern lightning bolt. This is a super powerful lightning bolt effect. It's four to the face. 
aggro decks splash white just for this card. Incredibly good in your burn decks. Number one here is one of my personal favorites, and it's seeing lots of play. This is a bug Tarmogoyf list deck in Legacy. It is great to have a blocker that draws you a card and can kill everything, including Emrakul. This is a really, really good blocker. I like Baleful Strix in Commander decks. People often forget to put in the one and two drops that basically cycle that give you a card, get you farther into the deck, and keep you alive. It works really, really well if you need sack outlets also. Baleful Strix has been reprinted again and again now, and hopefully this means that enough commander players are going to start to play with it. It's also seeing some play in some very competitive decks like Aluren. To dive deeper into the infinite number of spells that are out there for Magic the Gathering, subscribe to the channel. We've got patron pack openings coming up here in the next few days. It's probably going to be next Wednesday. Uh, thank you to everybody who supports the channel. And until next time, choose your cards wisely.